Hey guys, so it's been a little while since I made my last video. That trip to hospital and coupled with having a baby means I've been out of action for a little while. But I've also been looking to try and really, really focus on what it is that I want from all of this effort that I kind of put in. And I'm sadly one of those people that flip flops around quite a lot. It's quite hard to try and decide on exactly what you want, because whatever you decide on what you want, that's going to be the thing you're going to talk about constantly all the time for potentially years and years now what i've realized is what i really want to do is help people make an impact wherever they are whether they be in their organization whether they be following their passion that gives me a lot more scope to talk about some of the stuff that i'm really really interested in and i love outside of just the community stuff and it means i can help more people part of me wanting to help other people make an impact is to actually make an impact myself. And I've set myself this huge, probably totally unrealistic, probably never will ever happen goal of reaching 1 million followers on any one platform. I really want to start documenting the process and show you what it's like to kind of go through this, the strategies that I'm using, what's working, what isn't, and be completely transparent behind the scenes on what I've got set up and how I'm going to get there. And you have to enjoy the process, right? If you can't enjoy the process, you're never going to make that thing work. And that may or may not happen in the future, but it's nice to kind of be filming this video and saying, this is where I started and I might look back on it two years from now. And I've got some reference on that as well. So the first part of doing that is to show you everything that I've got going on right now behind the scenes, all my stats, where I'm at, which is basically zero, exactly what's happening, exactly what I've got going on, and the baseline that I'm starting with. So let's jump in and have a look around. So here I am on Instagram. This is basically a new account. I've got like 123 followers. I've been doing plenty of posts and quotes and lots of mixed content, but really, I haven't got a lot of stuff going on right here. I think we can officially say I'm basically starting from zero when it comes to Instagram. Now, I did have another account, which is this one, which I was using when I was a wedding photographer, and that got a lot further. That got like 2,200 odd followers, but I just wasn't really getting the engagement on the stuff that I was doing. And also I kind of wanted to grow out of just doing photography as well. I had a lot more to say and do. And I thought, you know, I'm just gonna start again with a bit more of a focused effort around this impact, right? So this is relatively new, and this is something that I'm driving right now. The strategies that I'm planning on using for growing all of these channels are not gonna be the automation strategies, and they're gonna be graft engagement, following hashtags, trying to add value wherever I can. You know, I'm trying to create something that has good engagement and a good tribe and a good following. I'm not just running after numbers here. I'm gonna be sharing exactly how I create all of these different pieces of content, trying to keep stats of all the stuff that I do pretty much almost every day. And come and follow me on Instagram because I'll put those in the stories. The next thing is my podcast. Now my podcast has been doing really well. So I run my podcast over on Spreaker here it is so I'm on 4,000 downloads total so I tend to get you know 30 odd downloads per podcast or so so it's not a huge amount but when you kind of stack it up it is starting to go up and grow here's the last year of my podcast stats and you can see that over a year's period this is really starting to kind of ramp up now I'm getting sort of 500 odd downloads every single month right so it's still really early days with this thing but it's definitely going in the right direction and it is a good stream for me to reach new people and to bring in new followers and to get new people being attracted to me. Just look for the Dan Thomas experience and you go find it. I'm pretty much obligated to put in asks for follows now because that's kind of my objective. So if you haven't done it, go ahead and do it. You know, my YouTube videos have been getting a good amount of engagement and they are, you know, a piece of growth. Now, the problem with the YouTube videos is the time for production is so huge. So I am looking to kind of use this road to a million as a little diversification, a bit of a simpler videos, but hopefully more value packed so that you can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm getting there. So I will be vlogging again, 
but I want to kind of combine it with this value adding stuff. But this is kind of my new website and this website is really orientated around growing my email subscriber list and growing my engagement that I can use on other channels. So it's going to have a lot of ebooks and guides and ways to grow my email list so that my emails can be brought up with that as well. And it even has these 15 minute fixes, which is a coaching session that I'm offering now, which is a chance for people to actually put in 15 minutes with me and actually have a coaching session in those 15 minutes. And within that, we can actually use that footage and push it back onto social and help other people do it. And for me, that's important as part of my overall making an impact. LinkedIn's a really interesting proposition. You might think, you know, given my sort of transformation and community background, I might be doing a lot on LinkedIn, but actually I'm probably not really seeing myself doing a huge amount on LinkedIn right now, just because actually I wanna get outside of just the B2B and be advising on other things. So my LinkedIn is there and I will be using it. Um, I've got about 1,150 odd followers on LinkedIn and I will be looking to grow it, but that's gonna really depend on my own personal resource and whether LinkedIn fits into my workflow. It's there, but I don't actually see it as a huge lead generation tool. My key focus at the moment is gonna be Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. If I had to pick one, it's gonna be predominantly Instagram. I think that's the one that I can kind of reach the most people on and make the most headway in the shortest amount of time because it's in a good place. I also like it a lot. I was basically using Instagram when it first came out, went back when it was owned by Instagram. I was one of the early, early adopters of it. I've always really loved it. It's a channel that I like. One thing I do have going for me is MailChimp. I have about 442 subscribers on my email list right now, and that's something that I'm looking to grow out. So we'll be leveraging my email list and it will be growing my email list. And then lastly is my Facebook page. Just launched this Facebook page, so it's still going. I have a whopping mind blowing 31 likes on my Facebook page. So look, you get the sense that I'm really basically starting from zero here. I haven't been trying to just go out and spam all my friends and ask them to like this thing. I'm just letting it kind of grow organically, seeing what works at the moment. I'm gonna be basing this stuff on my insights so I can get a sense of what it is I should be doing more of. But I will be putting more into that and repurposing the content that I do. And these kind of videos are going to be videos that I use in order to repurpose and push out into the other networks. So that's about it, a baseline of where I'm starting, which is not really anywhere at all. The only things I'm slightly ahead on would be the podcast, which is gaining traction. Um, and a decent size email list. This is my road to a million. It's going to be a very, very long road that may never end up in where I actually want to get to. But there you go. I'm going to share what's working, what isn't, how I'm creating all of my content, you know, the applications that I use, tutorials behind the way that I use them, tutorials around my website, the ads that I'm running, the way I create my podcast, everything. If you've enjoyed this video, do hit that subscribe because, you know, I've got a long way to go. I'm gonna need some subscribers. So hit that subscribe button at the bottom. If you're on your own journey yourself, leave a comment and let me know what your journey is, what your objective is, what your goal is, and let's support each other in reaching that journey as well. Thanks so much, see you soon, bye.